lack of rain and some extremely hot temperatures have most of New York counties under a drought watch, including right here in the Capital Region. Capital correspondent Amel Taliji has the latest from environmental experts and some advice on how New Yorkers can work together to beat the drought. This is real right now. We'll get through it, but we need New Yorkers to, to roll up their sleeves and help out. A drought watch is the first of four levels of state drought advisories. There's watch, warning, emergency, and disaster. With rainfall being less than normal recently, stream flows and water levels in lakes and reservoirs have fallen. DEC Commissioner Basil Sego says this isn't the first time New York has experienced a drought watch. In 2017, New York faced level D3, also known as extreme drought. Maybe once or twice in the last 10 years, um, but to have it happen um, at this point of the year and also uh, the drought coinciding with this high fire danger uh, really presents a unique and dangerous opportunity for, unfortunately, fires to, uh, to take hold in New York State. The commissioner, along with Governor Hochul, urging New Yorkers to watch the amount of water they use. If possible, reduce watering your lawn and be mindful if you go camping. Make sure to put out any campfires that could pose a risk to starting a wildfire. During droughts, residential wells and springs are usually the first drinking water supplies to run dry. It's common practice in New York to truck water to residents in need. Drought expert Richard Tinker tells me the main cause for concern are for places like California or Texas. In New York, uh, it looks like there's no problem with water supplies yet. We're very fortunate this part of the country to have a very wet climate. So even if things are a little drier, we tend to be able to keep up with water supplies. The main problem would come with stream flows or agriculture does not get uh, you know, the rain that they need. And so those get stressed. Reporting in Albany, Amel Taleji. Well, now here's a look at what is coming up.